Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Mokono Man at YouTube with another 3D printing video. I'm rolling with a larger 3D printer, the Mono X, in a well ventilated space in a country with cool and cold winters. UV reactive resin responds best between 25 to 35 degrees. The majority of my failures, not so much supports or any settings, has been due to missetting. With an ambient temperature of 15 to just 20 degrees most year round. The resin is high viscosity when warm or hot and creates finer detail. It thickens in the cold and becomes too heavy and either sticks to the film or not at all to the supports. A few approaches of heating your workspace using a heated box or cabinet, a smaller 3D printer or buying a heated tank which is quite expensive. I've opted for a very cheap brewing band found on eBay or AliExpress. At a greater cost you can add a thermostat. I went for the most common and base model available with a power plug installed for every country and continent it's sold in and the cheapest temperature gun on the market for measuring. Turns out this one's only made for measuring human heat and can only detect from 30 to 40 degrees which still kind of works. The brewing band is made for 10 to 30 litre plastic containers and brewing chambers. This one is not controllable and you're meant to adjust it on the container for what heat and type of alcohol you're brewing. Plugged in, it goes over 40 degrees at the band point. The large tank is 190 by 120 mil, slightly too small for the band, but I was able to clip it with a bulldog clip. Installation was quick and easy. With one hour preheating, I achieved over 30 degrees in the tank. I gathered a few tools, a drill, ream and cutters, or a Dremel would be much preferable. Cut a hole into the side to the desired diameter of the power cable and a little notch was cut and filed down to not nick or damage the electrical wire. The day of the test I loaded the tank with old anycubic flesh resin. The room was an ambient 22 degrees and I had a mix of large heavier models and small finer details. With a 10 hour print the tank temperature remained at around 35 degrees. The bed adhesion was fantastic and there was no failure or issues from the support to the models. Texture was also very smooth, all details were achieved. This was a massive success, but it does come with some risks and forewarnings. This is an unauthorized and not recommended use of the brewing band and should not be operated unattended. With gassy chemicals and extreme heat or combustible surfaces, it is to supervise in an area free of flammable materials and liquids in a well ventilated space. Repeating the experiment multiple times and in warmer weather, I found the tank can approach and get close to 40 degrees. It is recommended not to store resin in those temperatures, but it seems to print just fine during short periods of time and not set off. It also seems to not melt or damage the clear film or screen at the bottom of the tank. Otherwise, regardless of large heavy models or small fine detail, every print has been a great smooth success, meaning I can resume back to commission prints. Thank you very much for watching and as always until next time, stay tuned for further content and we'll catch you guys later. See ya!